All right, today we're going to talk about vintage skateboard trucks because it's getting to be a cool topic that everybody wants to build a vintage skateboard, have the authentic skateboard trucks that we used back in the day. The problem is all these kids that are riding these 80s boards, they really didn't grow up in the 80s like I did, so maybe I could point you guys out into what was cool and what was not cool and what was the lineage of it all. One of the first skateboard trucks that came out was called the Sure Grip Invader. You just see invaders on the base plates of the trucks. You'll still see them here and there. It's more of a longboarder thing. Longboarder is still like invaders because of the good turning angles. and It was made by the company that made roller skate trucks, so they didn't market well. And they still don't. You could still buy them out of the catalog in any size, just like you always could back in the day. Just not really a skate shop item, not a popular mainstream thing. Independent trucks are still around. Those were popular back in the day and still now because of the familiar feeling of getting a big giant heavy hanger onto a rail and having a nice smooth grinding surface. They grind well. They grind forever and built to grind is probably the best slogan for them. But the axles slip on independent trucks when I used to ride them back in the day, so that's a no-no for me. That means the axle moves around inside of the hanger, and your wheels get binded up by the nut on the outside of the axle. Not cool. Then uh, we had tracker trucks that basically stole most of the dynamics from independent trucks, so they were pretty much independent trucks with another name. Even though they were somewhat of a big company, they were never really marketed too well, nobody cared about them. I think they even had pro riders. No, no, nobody cared. Don't try to put trackers on your board like it's really cool. Nobody had trackers. That meant that you weren't really much of a skater. Goal wings, that meant you weren't a skater, you know. Those are the cool longboard trucks nowadays, but like as a street skating truck, no, they just, the kingpin stuck straight out, and that would grind before the hanger would grind, and you would hang up right away. Thunder trucks, those just hang up right away too, like the die cast metal that those were made of is not anything like the thunder lights that we have nowadays, so don't romanticize thunder trucks. Although they did have their place all throughout time, I didn't like them, they sucked. Venture trucks were the only ones that worked. The axle didn't slip. The, ba the base plate sometimes broke, but you could get another one. Um, the bushings were always good. The grinding was the best. Until they broke. Even a lot of the front of the truck is cut out so that you could do K-grinds and nose grinds a lot easier. Without grinding the whole front of your truck and slowing down. Destructo trucks came. They were okay. They would replace your trucks anytime. Um, so like basic, nobody cared. They came in a lot of sizes and nah, nobody cared. Furies, stupid. They tried to overbuild the truck in every kind of way and everything went wrong. They built the middle real thick and it bent the axles up on the sides as a result. They tried to make a pivotal ball cup and it made your board tilt to one side permanently, whichever side you lean to. What other disappointing ones? Orions, oh, they just had this big old hole in the middle, totally made out of aluminum. Tie lights, too small of a size to ever even work those out. There were some lot of different fads, like Grind Kings, no, not grinding for you at all. 